Oversleeping is my greatest fear. So I engineered and built an alarm that is guaranteed to wake me up. Have you ever overslept through something important? Yeah, me too. There's a reason this is my greatest fear. And since I'm starting a new job soon, I really don't want to oversleep. Most of my fears come from past drama where I overslept something important. And I'll tell you about that story later. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because I'm going to build something that'll fix my problem. I thought of a few ways to make sure that I get out of bed and stay out of bed. The typical phone alarm doesn't really work for me because I snooze it too many times or accidentally turn it off. I tried getting an app for my phone that doesn't turn off the alarm until I get up and scan the QR code on my bathroom mirror. But if I'm really tired, I still go back to bed for a few extra minutes of sleep. You may ask, why not just go to bed earlier? But that's kind of lame, not gonna lie. So I started thinking of more drastic options to fight off my groggy state of mind in the morning. What about making something that launches me out of bed? It sounds like a cool idea, but there are other people who have already made this idea and it doesn't exactly look practical. It definitely would get me out of my bed, but I might end up in the hospital's bed instead. Then I thought about having a water mister spray some water on me to wake me up. It would wake me up for sure, and also make the bed a little cold and damp so I don't want to go back to bed. It would be quiet and effective, but I decided against doing something like this because I don't want my bed soggy every single morning. Yuck. But then I finally got an idea. I bought this concrete vibrator for another video and it didn't work the way I wanted it to for that project. So I was just sitting around and I saw it and I had an idea. What if I welded this concrete vibrator to my bed frame and use scale sensors to see if I'm still in bed? And if I'm in bed, then it'll turn on till I get out of bed. And if I get back into bed, it'll turn on again and it won't turn off until I get out of bed. I like that idea. All right, so here's how it works. Inside this box, there's a microcontroller. The microcontroller is the brains of this whole thing. It's using a real-time clock board to check the time. It's measuring the weight that the scales are sensing on the feet of the bed. And it uses a relay to switch on and off power to the concrete vibrator. The alarm is set to go off at 6 a.m. every day of the week, since that's when I want to get up for work. At 6 a.m., the alarm will go off for three seconds to wake me up. Then it turns off for a one minute grace period. After the one minute, the microcontroller will check to see if there's weight still on the bed. If it still senses weight on the bed, it will go off until it doesn't sense any more weight on the bed. Once I get out of bed, it will turn off. If I decide to get back in the bed within an hour of the alarm time, it will turn on again. Turn off until I get out of bed. Voila. I know that this pie doesn't look like a whole lot on camera, but my vision is blurred right now. I'm gonna do some video editing and show you guys what it actually looks like from my perspective right now. It's pretty crazy. It definitely wakes me up. It's a little jarring in the morning, but we'll say at the very least I'm awake. Oh gosh. So a couple years ago when I was in my early college days, I was offered a job by a mutual acquaintance of somebody. It was like a job at a school for a tech position or something like that. And I was interested, so I was like, hey, let's go out for lunch and meet for lunch and talk over it. So we scheduled a place, we scheduled a time, and the day comes when we're supposed to meet. The night before, I was up editing a video, actually, and it was like I was up to like 2 a.m. or something, right? 
And I set an alarm for the next morning. I set it for like 8 or 9 a.m. Just, you know, get a little bit extra sleep. Time comes because I was up so late when the, my alarm goes off. I end up snoozing it a couple times. And somewhere in there, I hit the stop instead of the snooze. And you kind of know it's on an iPhone. It's easy because they put it right next to each other. So if you're like sleeping and like fumbling around and, and I just hit the stop button and didn't go off anymore. And then fast forward a little bit. My phone goes off again. But this time it wasn't my alarm. It was my phone. And I, I recognized the ringtone and I like shot straight up. I'm like, oh no. And I looked at my phone. Sure enough, it's the guy calling me and it's already past our appointment at noon. And I panicked and I'm super groggy in the morning and I can't think or do anything or say anything right. And I panicked and I just let it ring. As soon as it stops ringing, I quick go and check the text. And he texts me. He's like, yo, I'm here. Like, are you, are you good? Are you okay? And I was like, Oh my word, I overslept my lunch interview. And so I'm like sheer panic at this point. Like, what do I do? What do I say? And I just ended up calling him right back and being like, hey man, like I just woke up. He's immediately like, ah, oh, don't worry, bro. Like it's all good. It happens to the best of us. I was like, does it though? Does it happen to the best of us? A lunch interview? Maybe I'm gonna be like a breakfast interview. But a lunch in it, no. Nah. He was so gracious. Like, if you're watching this and you know who you are, thank you for being so gracious. This was at a time where I really cared about what people thought of me and like people's other people's opinion of me. And that just made a huge difference that you were just so gracious. Thank you. But anyways, so I, I said, I can be there in half an hour if you still want to, if you still want me. He's like, okay, yeah, I, I can do that. So I got ready so fast. I'm telling you, I've never gotten ready faster than this. It's probably like, 30 seconds, a minute. I got ready quick and I flew out the door and I sped all the way there and I made it and we had a good lunch and good chat. But like in my mind, if you oversleep a lunch appointment, you're probably off on the wrong foot to say the least. And, but again, he was super gracious and he explained the position to me and everything. And, uh, it just wasn't a great fit for me, but even still, I probably wouldn't have taken it just cause out of sheer embarrassment. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that, that was my story. And, uh, that is why I have a bed with a concrete vibrator on the bottom. Now I started work a couple months ago. I've been using this almost every morning since, and it's, I don't have to stress about oversleeping anymore. This thing wakes me up every single morning and, uh, it's a little disorienting in the morning. I will say, cause it's a little violent. Um, uh, my little brother who's upstairs, he can hear it all the way up there, just like shake the house a little bit. And my other brother who I share a bedroom with is not exactly enthused that this goes off at 6 a.m. every morning because he doesn't have to get up at 6 a.m. like I do. It's been working very well. Someday, maybe in the future, I won't have to have an alarm like this, but until I get really settled in at my new job, I'm just gonna use this thing and ensure that I wake up every single morning on time and uh, I don't have to stress. And I was able to use my engineering degree so that I can remove one of my greatest fears, which is oversleeping.